Okay, so this is the fourth or fifth gallon of milk I've ever got. It was bad because I used about two and three gallons at a time from that Tom Thumb out there in Shalimar. And I'm going to tell you, I just poured a glass. I thought I was going to die. And it's all turned. It's no good. Ah! I can't stand sour milk. I guess I have to go back to the market. I got to take this one back. They wouldn't take back any other ones or give me a refund or free ones or anything. And, uh, I hope I get my money back this time. Ugh. Oh, that's sour. Oof. I don't know if it's their coolers are going out or the people delivering or leaving it out in the heat too long because you know it's really hard to deliver food in the heat like we have because um, it melts chocolate and then when the chocolate gets out of the heat it turns white like it's old and it's really not it's just the stuff is separating out of it and uh, milk products and meat products go bad really quick in the heat you know, as they're loading them and stuff. Doesn't take long. That's what is nice about catering food. Because when you have your bags in the car and stuff, when you go to the market, you can put that stuff in there right away to make sure it doesn't get affected by the weather or the heat. Yeah, so here I gotta go all the way back again. Somebody got their boom boom up pretty loud. That's a good thing about this car. It's ultra quiet. It's one of the more quiet cars I've ever had to where you can kill that boom boom noise outside of you when somebody running their boom box. It's really like driving a German tank or something. It's a pretty tough truck. Some people out bicycling today. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. I don't see any people fishing yet today. Usually this bridge is pretty locked up with fishing people. Ugh, I should have brushed my teeth after that sour milk. Can't believe I got drunk all the way back over here just because I didn't want to go to the market by the house. It was cheaper. I just didn't want the crowd. I can usually get in this place in and out pretty quick. I got to get some stuff loaded up. Got to keep on moving. I'm still moving. The bad part is I'm like maybe at the halfway mark. I don't know. Maybe. I've got a lot of boxes. I'm doing a lot of sorting because I really wanted to go and organize this time. Plus I'm looking for stuff I can't seem to find. So, if I... Oh, the Goofy Golf slammed full of cars today. Good deal. Glad to see you doing business. And yeah, I mean, I, I can inventory in my head everything I have. And then what I know is for sure missing, then I can replace it when I come across a good deal. This is a pretty navy blue cat, but it got them so done with those models. I like the old ones. Are so much more reliable, and their parts are, I mean, cheap as dirt on the old ones. And you talk about parts, my Cadillac parts are cheaper than the parts on this truck. How do you like that? That's a true story. The parts on this truck are like buying parts for a Mercedes. 
but I do like 95% of my own work. That's one reason why I bought it because the way the engine's set up, it's very, very easy to work on. And most of the time I work under the underneath, I don't even have to jack it up. And I do have, you know, rolling ramps and all that stuff. Uh, I love those things. But uh, this thing's so high off the ground, I just roll under it when I want to service it. <coughs> oh, the ocean's lovely today. There's a fisher person. You got one. Yeah. If you go get the cheapest hot dogs at Walmart, those little red ones, in the south, that is really the thing to fish with. When I was a kid, I used to fish with it. Easter candy, you know, it's really bad Easter eggs, the little hard ones that were colored with the marshmallow stuff inside. Those are really good for fishing. And then my mom used to buy us a bucket of shrimp. A whole bucket of raw shrimp. I Man, I'll tell you what, today if you bought a whole bucket of raw shrimp, it would be so expensive. But, um, but then she just buy me a big bucket of shrimp. And I'd fish with shrimp. And just break them apart into three pieces. And that's what you fish with. Oh. Here we go with the milk. Go see my friend.